morning, you guys. So it's now Wednesday morning around 5.30 a.m. And what you're going to be seeing before this clip is uh, my clips from the rest of yesterday, which was Tuesday. I went ahead and just uploaded my first part of my Peak Week video. I want to keep you guys really up to date as far as um, how, everything, how everything's going on a day-to-day -day basis up until show day. So that way I can release my show day video hopefully Sunday or Monday um, following my show without having to wait for a Peak Week video. So I will be uploading every other day until then. Um, this morning I did wake up at 119 and that's pretty much the consistent weight that I've been waking up at every day. And uh, yesterday, the last time I vlogged, I was just taken off to work. I worked all day, did my cardio, went home, and edited that video, and then I went to sleep. So I went to sleep around midnight last night. Um, so I didn't get very much sleep this morning, but such is life. It goes on. I'm going to get ready real quick and get my baby up, get my journaling done, my whole same old routine that I'm always doing. I will update you guys in a second on my peak week because things have actually changed in 24 hours. So we'll talk about it in a minute. <laughs> Two o'clock, two thirty-ish. I'm getting ready to head out. They're cleaning my car right now. I'm about to get my keys. I've spent the afternoon just eating. Um, I've been doing cards for my clients. I'm editing a video, drinking my water, and uh, just I feel really rushed right now because I got I got so much to do. But I'm about to take off, go train for the rest of the night, so I may not vlog. Um, but I am trying to get up a video tonight. That way, you guys can stay with me throughout peak week. So frequent uploads this week. What's up, fame? This is where I'm at. Woke up at 1.19. Feeling pretty good. Breakfast before anything, you guys. Like, honestly. Alright guys, it's chat time. Let's talk about peak week. What is peak week? Uh, so peak week is basically the week before your competition and people kind of um, get afraid of it and I've heard people ask like how's peak week tell me all about it and what do, what do you go through what do you do and um, to be very honest this you know it's trial and error for everybody and everyone's bodies responds to things so differently um, but truthfully what I've learned is peak week should really be not very different than the rest of your prep you know prep for prepping for a show is one of those sports where it progressively gets harder it does not progressively get easier so as it nears the show you know your diet gets stricter your water intake gets more concise uh, your cardio typically goes up so it your dieting phases and everything else that goes with it tends to get more and more strenuous on your body on your energy levels um, so it does progressively get worse however peak week itself should be one of the weeks where you're you're kind of just chilling you're not doing anything crazy your workouts kind of come to a halt you're reducing the cardio or keeping it consistent um you shouldn't be doing like two hours a day to try to like burn that last minute fat or whatever like it's not going to happen my belief system on it is you know just based on my own experience and coaches i've had is that um it, you should basically be ready before peak week it should be about a week two weeks out you're ready to step on stage peak week is one of the time Peak week is only going to be there to. Peak week is only to finalize the package. So basically, like pack up your stuff, get ready, make sure all your appointments are done. It's very similar to your wedding day. Not a whole lot can change in one week. And you know, when you're planning your wedding, everything's already been done. All the venues have been visited, been set. You bought your dress, like everything. 
basically is just going to be tied together for this beautiful, beautiful day celebration. So that's very similar to how Peak Week should roll in. You, you're not going to go and last minute change the color scheme of your wedding. So why would you go and add a bunch of stuff or take away a bunch of stuff from your diet? Kind of the same thing, um, just to kind of give normal people, a <laughs> people who don't prep, kind of an idea. A lot of times people are just, they're simply not show ready. They're not on, in a place where they could be top five on a stage. And so they will do anything they can the last week of the show to deplete their water, increase their sodium, to do you know endless hours of cardio, just whatever they can to kind of tweak these you know last minute things before they get on stage. Um, and a lot of times it, it has an adverse effect on your body because your body is used to what you've been doing. It's very adaptable and it's, it adapts to what you were doing during your prep. So if you decide last minute to switch things up, you're essentially doing an experiment and that's not something that you'd really want to do the week of prep. I'm sorry, the week of peak week. So what I like to do um, and what I've been taught to do is just to keep things consistent. The only time you should make changes in your diet or your training is if something isn't working. So uh, for an example, I was carb cycling for I think two or three weeks out of this prep. My body weight was fluctuating a lot. My moods were like out of control. My, um, you know, I would wake up feeling tight one day and then I'd feel like super soft the next day so there was no consistency and it drove me nuts so you know Corey and I were like okay well then maybe carb cycling is not for me so let's just keep it consistent this next week and not change any of your carbs and we'll see how you do immediately my body bounced back I lost weight um I my moods you know started to get really my mood started to improve and so for us that was an experiment and that's kind of what you guys got to do too is experiment with your body and figure out what works for you because I know plenty of athletes where they have to carb cycle to look and feel their best. They may not feel the greatest but they look better and for me it doesn't do me any, it, it doesn't really make a difference. So that's just an example. So with peak week, um, we've changed our plans a few times because we're like, well, maybe we should just try to like, you know, get that extra edge and just try to get that extra water drop or whatever. And so if you noticed my past video, I said that I was drinking two gallons of water because I decided that I talked to a few people and I was like, well, maybe it would work. So I did uh, two gallons of water for two days and I talked to my old coach, uh, Corey and I kind of reach out to, you know, old coaches that we've had for mentorship. This is our first time prepping ourselves. So we just want someone out, you know, to get an outside opinion. So I messaged my old coach, Demias, who is a very highly respected person in my life um, and just wanted to give his feedback. I sent him my peak week plan. I was like, look, if any suggestions, just let me know. And he said that everything looks great, that he's really proud of us, and we we're doing really great. The only thing that he didn't think was necessary was the water load. He's like, you weigh 119 pounds. Why are you adding 16 pounds of water to your body every single day? Like, why are you asking your body to get accommodated to that? Like, if you like the way you look when you wake up every morning and you're feeling shredded, why would you change that? Why would you risk your body holding on to more water? Like, why are you complicating it? It doesn't need to be done. For me specifically, water loading might be great for somebody else, but... For me specifically and you know that made me think and I was like yeah I guess you're right I don't know why I thought you know I my, my whole thing is I want to come in a little bit more shredded than soft I'd rather not place because I was too lean or too shredded than coming in looking too soft or jiggly and that's my personal preference that's how I like my body so that was my reason behind it but he did talk to me you know about it and so I went back to Corey because Corey's my coach at the end of the day you know my coach to will always be my coach too but right now Corey has the final say so I went to Corey I said hey this is what Jemiah said what do you think he's like that's exactly what I was thinking the whole time but I, I was trying to take your opinions into consideration and I think we should roll into it and just keep it consistent so update on my plan. I am no longer water loading. I only did it for two days. I still have enough time to just get shit back together. I'll be okay. So I'm going to drink a gallon of water, just keep it normal. I was also going to take away a little bit of my carbs today and tomorrow um, and then have a burger before the show and I'm no longer going to do that either. I'm just going to take the food that I've already prepared and I'm just going to eat that all week long and I'm not going to have a cheat meal. I'm literally just going to keep my diet exactly the same because I'm happy with what I look like right now and there's really no sense in switching it up and risking messing up my hard work you know I've worked really hard to get where I'm at and there's no sense in me trying to tweak it to get just a little bit more abs 
it just doesn't make sense. So that's what we're doing. Sorry it's a long chat, but peak week should not be something where you're making crazy changes. Peak week should not be hell week where you feel so depleted and hate your life. Um, I've had a show where that's how I felt and I don't feel like that at all. I've actually had the highest out of energies all week. I feel great and I'd rather go into a show not hating it. I work my ass off so I want to enjoy myself. I want to have fun and this is the part where it's just it's show day like it's getting exciting like I'm just gonna pack my stuff and get you know checked into the hotel and do all the fun stuff so I don't want this to be a chore. I don't want this to be something I hate. It's a sport. It's fun and I want to enjoy it and remember why I started competing in the first place. So that's that's my tidbit on peak week and we're gonna get this show started because I've been talking for like seven minutes now so I'll, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit hi okay guys so I'm about to get a full body workout in it's um, today and tomorrow are gonna be my last two workouts and they're kind of just depletion workouts so I'm just gonna do uh, high reps and a full body so here we go It's 10.44, so I got in a good workout for an hour, just about an hour. Um, I did a full body, and it was good. I got a nice little pump, had a great workout, and um, right now I'm just eating my post-workout meal, which is ground turkey and three-quarter cup of white rice with some hot sauce, and then I just scheduled my nails, brows, and toes for tomorrow at 2 o'clock, and then I'm going to just kind of pick up my house a little bit and start kind of packing because I am going to be really busy the next two days. Today I have to train clients from 2 to 9, um, so I, that gives me about an hour and a half to two hours to get stuff done here right now, and then I'm not training again until the following Monday. So uh, Thursday, so tomorrow morning I have posing in Marietta at Self Made in Marietta, 8.30 a.m., then I have to train myself full body. Um, and then I have my nails and all that stuff. I gotta pack, make sure I have everything ready to go because Friday morning is the day of check-ins. Um, we have a video shoot at Self Made at 11. I figure out the time that I'm getting tanned, but I did receive an email and it says that I'm gonna be tanned between 4 and 6.30 in the afternoon, which kind of sucks because that's a little bit early. So that means I'm gonna basically be super tan early in the day on Friday and so I have to be very careful. So I plan on getting tanned and then literally just laying in bed and watching TV or just relaxing or whatever, reading Wusa because I'm not trying to mess my tan up and I just want to be calm and go into the show really relaxed and excited because I have pretty good momentum going on right now that I'm trying Alrighty. to keep going. So I don't know what happened but after this morning I was cleaning up the house and stuff and then like I started just to feel really lightheaded and like no energy whatsoever. I think I may have over, I don't know, like overexerted myself during during my workout and I'm just like putting off way more energy than calories that I'm consuming. So I think it kind of caught up with me. I had to take the day off and just relax. I took a nap. I was I just woke up. I woke I took like a 3-hour nap. Just listening to my body, trying to respect it because I I really don't need to be stressed out or have anything go wrong the next couple of days so I just had a weird afternoon but I feel fine now so um that was strange it sucks but it, you know should happen so keeping it moving and I'm gonna go train a client real quick and then I actually cleared my schedule so I'm gonna just 
<coughs> excuse me, just get some groceries and take care of some stuff. I'm having a terrible time finding things in my house right now. I can't find my competition jewelry or a booklet of stamps that I've been searching for for hours. So there's All right, so I just got back from Target and I did a little bit of post-show shopping. Right. I plan on tracking my macros, but these are the foods that I wanted to eat. And I'm gonna go through them real quick. So pistachios, I decided to go with pistachios because it takes longer to eat them. So I almost feel like I get more because I eat my cashews really fast. Um, these thin crisp, what are they? Oreo thins. These are actually just for my son. And then I got these 100 calorie pack of almonds that are cocoa roast. They're really good. Dandelion root, I got this for show actually. It helps drop water. It's a natural diuretic. I got these cookie thins. I can have five cookies, and they are five cookies is 130 calories, only 19 grams of carbs. This is what I'm really looking forward to on like a shoulder or leg day. I'm gonna do half pre, half post, which is a banana chocolate chip bagel with peanut butter is what I'm gonna put on top of that. I got dark chocolate uh, chips because I wanna do like my homemade froyo and add that as a topping with some berries. Turkey bacon, because I want to do like breakfast sandwiches and stuff. These flat outs are really macro friendly. They're only 90 calories and I think they're about 15 carbs a piece. So I make breakfast burritos out of them. I got skinny popcorn. It's a good low calorie snack, especially if you have popcorn seasonings that you can add to it. And I got these good thins. They are similar to like a Triscuit type of cracker. And I can have 23 pieces for 103, or sorry, 130 calories. And um, I'm going to dip the, I'm gonna dip the crackers into one of these which is a low fat cream cheese or creamy cheese and then I got chocolate jello light sour cream because I want to make like burritos with ground turkey and steak with these holy guacamole little minis so for my fat source then I am obsessed with these I found them right before I started prep and so I stopped eating them but they have a bunch of really good flavors. These ones are Chobani Simply 100, so these are the only 100 calorie ones. This one's amazing, it's chocolate strawberry truffle. And then I got two that are not 100 calories, they're actually 200 calories, it's this one, the peanut butter dream, and then the caramel pecan turtle. Um, those ones are not 100 calories, they're actually like 200, but I'll have those on like a higher uh, calorie day. I got sugar-free coffee sweetener because I've just been wanting to add something to my my uh, coffee. I got Taco Bell sauce because I love Taco Bell and I just like to make tacos and it's zero calories. Reduced sugar ketchup because that's how I roll. Cashew milk, I want to use this for my cereal and then for um, my, my uh, protein shakes. Jelly, I got some of this just for show day. I got this for show day too, it's a Powerade just because I'll probably be a little dehydrated. Um, whipped cream, I got this, it's only 15 calories and one carb, so a serving of this on like my ice cream, my Halo Top, or a Froyo. And then what else did I get? This. Cocoa Puffs, because I've been craving Cocoa Puffs, so I can have a serving of Cocoa Puffs like pre-workout or something. So that's what I got so far, there's a couple things I need to stop and go grab a, every flavor of Halo Top. But other than that, I'm going to do like chicken with veggies and keep my proteins kind of the same. Maybe add in some steak. Good morning, guys. It's now Thursday, two days out. Um, last night after, what did I do? After I went and got groceries, just went home, did my 40 minutes of cardio in my home gym. And then I, it was my last cardio session and I came home, drank some sleepy time tea and passed out. I really just needed rest. So that's what I did. Got a good night's sleep. It's about six in the morning. So my my thing is I like the way I look when I first wake up, but then once I start eating and getting like fluids in me, I start to fill out and like look a little softer. So that's my only concern is like I want during pre-judging for me to be like this hard. So we'll see what happens, but I'm going to go get my breakfast right now and then I have posing in Marietta today um, at Self Made with Jane. So and then I have a full body light workout no cardio. Alright, let's go get some food. Alrighty, I just got ready but I wanted to do like a full physique update. This is what I'm slitting at. Honestly, I wish I was a little bit tighter in my midsection. My shoulders, obviously when I don't have a pump, it kind of sucks. I'm feeling a little flat. 
One thing though that I always kind of have is this gloop separation right here. So that works in my favor because I have really small glutes just because I'm I'm a small person. I mean, I don't have a ton of muscle mass, but not terrible. I mean, I feel I feel like I look okay right now, but it's like so much can change overnight, you know. So this is where I'm sitting at, guys. And I am two days out. Alrighty, so it's about 9.15 and I'm in my car waiting to go into the self-made in Murrieta because I'm going to do my posing session, my final posing session with Jane. Um, so I just figured since I have a little bit of time, I can just talk to you guys. So my feelings right now are anxious and excited. I think my excitement is more overwhelming than my nerves. So in a way that's a good thing because I feel like it's instead of being so nervous that I like start to stress out and hold water and like start to like freak out about everything, I'm actually pretty calm. And I think that not changing my diet and like being crazy with my water and like feeling really depleted and stuff has my energy pretty high so I feel pretty good. Um, so I like that. Um, I do feel like I get a little bit more emotional, but I think it's because when you do something like this, like prep is really, really challenging to do. It's such a mental sport and it's a very subjective sport at the same time. So it's kind of frustrating in the sense that like you can literally train so hard and work your ass off and still not do well. And it's not because you're not, you know, a great athlete or because you didn't put in the work or you could have done this or that. It's a subjective sport and they're looking for something specific that day. It depends on who shows up. It depends on what the judges want to see. Um, depending on what, if you're an amateur, if you're going into a pro show, you know, everything's going to be different. And so I'm not going to lie and I'm not going to tell you that I don't want to place. I'm telling you right now, like I'm not afraid to put it out there. I don't compete to get the, the experience on stage. I don't need experience on stage. I compete to win. So if I don't place, I will be pissed. Like I will be really upset. And so I'm not one of those people who's like, I don't really care how I do. Like I'm just, I just wanted to get into great shape and like go on stage and do this for the experience. Like that's just not me and my competitive nature says otherwise. Like I just, I'm not like that. And I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that if you're like that, it's a bad thing. I'm just saying personally, I go to win. And so a part of me feels like nervous because if, what if I don't place? Like I'm going to be really upset and that's going to take a, it'll be a huge hit to my ego. And I want to do nationals in July, but it's like a part of me feels like I'm not ready for nationals. I want an overall title that I haven't gotten yet. And I, again, I'm not afraid to put that out there. Like I want to go and I want to steal the show. And it's very challenging to do that. There are so many beautiful athletes out there who train just as hard as me, if not harder, who work just as hard as me, if not harder, who have been doing this for a lot longer. So instead of focusing on the what ifs, I've just come to the conclusion that I need to focus on bringing the effort and I can't control the outcome. I can't make the decision for the judges, but I can go to the gym every day and bust my ass. I can stick to my diet. And that's one thing I'm really proud of during this prep is I have been humbled a little bit. I've, I've finally, like I've I have this tendency to just be overconfident with everything that I do. Um, and it's not a bad thing. Like I honestly don't mind my confidence because I'd rather be overly confident, overly confident than insecure. But at the same time, like I do want to, I do want to be a humble athlete. I do want to win and be able to shake the winner's hand. Like I am completely not saying, you know, that I'm the shit by any means, but I'm going to train like I am and I'm going to work as hard as I possibly can because I do want to win and I do want to be feeling, I do want to feel like the last prep that I did every day that I didn't skip my cardio every day that I stuck to my diet and followed my plan was worth every single minute and it and it will be in the sense that I, I've grown a lot you know through my this will be my third show and I've grown a lot since my first show and I've learned my body and I have with every show gotten better brought in a better physique and all of that but I come to win man and I just I want to stay focused I want to just like chill the next two days I don't want to stress and go crazy like I lost my competition jewelry that I went and spent like 70 bucks on for this specific show because I got a new suit so I wanted new shoes new jewelry everything and I lost it I can't find it anywhere and I the normal me would be freaking out crying stressed out going to the store repurchasing it like and this time around like whatever it's not worth the bloat you know what I mean so that's kind of where my head's at right now um, I will say that I went when I went grocery shopping yesterday, I get I get overwhelmed by the food freedom. And so that's something that with with prep that 
because you do diet down so hard and you do stick to such a like strict diet that when you are allowed more freedoms you tend to either binge eat or you like restrict still because you're like terrified of gaining weight and I am somebody who's never had any like body issues I've never had struggles with food or anything like that I've kind of always been able to eat relatively healthy or you know not overindulge in anything like I have a couple cookies and I'm fine but when you're restricted it makes you want things a lot more and so when I go to the grocery store and I'm like, okay, I could have this, I could have that. It's really overwhelming to me. And yesterday when I was grocery shopping, like I wasn't even done grocery shopping, but I just left. I was like, I got to get out of here because this is too stressful for me. And I was like, this is not the time or the place to be stressed. So we can deal with this after the show. Um, and you'll notice that with my, my haul that I showed you, my grocery haul that I showed to you, everything is light this, diet that, zero calorie. All, Cause I'm trying to be, I still want to be in shape, but I also want to enjoy good food. And so finding that balance is really, really tough because truthfully, I personally don't even believe that there is such thing as balance. It's very difficult to do. I'm a very zero to a hundred person. Like it's either black or white. I don't know gray area. It's very challenging for me. So learning how to reverse diet in my post show is going to be a challenge for me, but I really want to stick to counting my macros. And I also want to try flexible dieting because I have finally come to the point where I've researched it enough and I've seen enough people do it and I'm convinced that it has to work and the science behind it and I'm starting to really see that so um, I got a little bit flexible with this last prep on certain days I had halo top or an apple or whatever something that wasn't necessarily on my meal plan but I stuck within my macros and I'm still looking great so I'm convinced that it works I'm gonna try it out and then I'm gonna let you guys kind of follow along and see how I do in my post show I do plan to do another show but again it really depends on how I do at this show um, so reversing is gonna be a challenge for me you tend to feel a little bit lost after your show it's like your wedding day or something it's something like huge that you're it's built up for so many weeks and then it happens and it's over and then you're like now what why for me it's really important to just get another goal I got to set another goal something to work towards because otherwise I get lost really easily and it can be overwhelming and, and super emotional for me so post-show blues are a real thing and so th that's kind of where my head's at I'm already thinking about like Monday that's why I went grocery shopping yesterday because I know Saturday I'll be really busy with the show Sunday I have a big photo shoot and so I'm like when am I gonna have time to get groceries because I need to meal prep for Monday you know what I mean like I'm I'm not gonna allow that time to be like oh what should I eat today so that's why I got my groceries ahead of time but um, that's kind of where I'm at. My mental game is still pretty good right now. I am hoping that everything goes well with tans and you know, all, one can only hope that everything goes well. So that's kind of what I'm, what I'm shooting for. I'm about to go get in my final posing session and then my last training session, which is just gonna be kind of like a, a deplete, depletion workout. So it's just like really high volume, light workouts. Um, and then I have my nail appointment today at two o'clock. I gotta run to the store just to pick up a, last, a couple last minute things. And then I gotta pack and oh I gotta exfoliate dye my hair clear off my memory storage on all my stuff because I don't want to run into issues with memory and all that stuff so I got a lot of stuff going on but at the same time you know yesterday I, I had to listen to my body and my body was really tired I wasn't feeling well and then you know the normal me would have pushed through the normal me would have pushed through still went in trained you know nine sessions in a row and exhausted myself but I've worked really hard to get where I am today and as far as the show is concerned I'm not going to ruin it by by one day you know what I mean like I'm not going to do that so my clients were really understanding I just let them know I need a mental health day I need to take care of myself today I listened to my body I did my cardio but it, I sat and did a bike instead of walking just because I was I was tired you know so sometimes it's good when you're ex depleted as people can get during peak week and stuff and when you're as tired as you are just to listen to your body I guess it's time to go pose and I'll talk to you guys later Bye. good face the back Face the front. Push that hip back. Twist. There you go. Do it again. Face the back. Good. Face the front. I love it in self-made, we tag up the bathroom walls. Isn't that sick?
Yeah, boy, self-made baby. I just finished posing and it went really well. She seriously is a godsend, so I'm really happy that I got to pose with her. Um, we have two poses now, so I just gotta work on my transitions and then um, hopefully I don't fuck up on stage, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I just got in my last and final lift of this prep and it felt really good. I didn't take any pre-workout. Okay, lighting, get yourself together. How about there? Okay. I didn't take any pre-workout or anything, and my workout was probably 30 minutes long, like 30, 45 minutes. It wasn't long at all. I just did three sets of 20 for um, each body part, two exercises. To go get my nails done, and I'm gonna see if I can edit this video while I'm getting my nails done. That way I can multitask. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. So I will keep you guys updated. I think I'm gonna end the vlog after today's activities because I'd like the show day video to include tomorrow, which has like the check-ins and the tan and all that kind of stuff. So that way you guys had the entire week and you didn't have to wait until after the show day. So trying to keep it, um, you know, engaged and keep you guys active and it's like you're almost here with me. So it's pretty cool. Um, and also I just want to say thank you guys to everyone who has sent me messages. Like for some reason, all of a sudden I'm getting all these messages from people and saying like that they are watching my videos and are feeling inspired and that, um, they needed to hear like that video I posted about what I think about your excuses. And I know I can be a little bit like straightforward, <laughs> but it's nice to know that my candidness and like just how real I can be um, isn't taken offensively and people just understand what I'm trying to say. So I have a very hard time articulating my words. That's why when I ori originally I started a blog and I was like, I don't know how to freaking say what I want to say. So I just need to be in front of a camera so I can just say it. You know what I mean? That way you get the context behind it. But um, so yeah, I do appreciate all of the love and support that you guys have been giving to me. And I look forward to a whole new journey. I don't know what's next, but I'm trying to already game plan like a new series. Um, what I could do for, you know, up until nationals and all that, because I will vlog nationals, but what, what kind of series do you guys want to see? Should it just be like regular day in the life type stuff? Or is there like a whole series that you guys would be into? I don't know. Want more workouts? You guys got to let me know because I do this for you. I already know what I'm doing. <laughs> so let me know if you guys have anything that you would love for me to post more, um, content of. So yeah, I gotta go eat. Okay, bye. Cause we've been putting in the mouth